Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have something really interesting. I have a portable dishwasher. I found it on the Wish Hub, of course. <laughs> you guys remember my portable dryer? My portable washing machine? Listen, we're gonna live off the grid and we're gonna be squeaky clean. Our clothes are gonna be clean, our dishes are gonna be clean, everything's gonna be clean because of all these portable things that I keep finding. So this thing not only promises to wash dishes, it also promises to wash clothes. Just in case your washing machine is down or maybe you're tra- Ooh, for traveling. A cruise line needs to go ahead and sponsor me because all I do is talk about cruises. This would be good for a cruise. You guys are gonna see in a second what this thing looks like. So this is my mouse and I think this thing looks just like it. Per the ad in the Wish app, this thing has some kind of sonic vibration. It's gonna get all the nasty, nasty off of your dishes. If this thing works, I'll never turn on that dishwasher again. On the front of the box, it says mini wash. I think I got it in white. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> there it is. I don't know what to think. It, it is legit the size of my mouse. Look, let me take my mouse out again. Did I just get bamboozled? <laughs> what the hell is this? There's some of you guys going, Vivian, <laughs> you guys always leave me these cute little funny comments that I giggle all the time. Somebody said in my washing machine video, how are you gonna live off the grid without power? Listen, I can only review one product at a time. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. Maybe I got some solar stuff. Maybe I got some solar screens for energy. You guys don't know what I got. Subscribe and keep watching. If you do, you're gonna survive because I'm gonna give you all the tools and we're gonna learn together. We're gonna weed out all the shit products. Can I throw my mouse in there <laughs> and wash my dishes? I hope that whoever, whatever country made this is like way more advanced than we are and we just been missing out. And I've just brought you guys new technology. Let's evolve together. This looks cheap as hell, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I have no hopes for this thing. The one in the picture is gold. I would have loved a gold one. That would have been real gaudy. Intelligent Super Shockwave Dishwasher is a combination of modern ultra shock cleaning technology and powerful bubble generator. I'm excited. So I believe the instructions are telling me that this thing is gonna shut off after 15 minutes. That's not bad if it's gonna wash my dishes because my dishwasher takes way more than that. Come on, how many dishes can this really clean at once? It has to just be like a couple things, right? Step number one says soak the tableware with proper amount of water. Got it. Step two, pour the right amount of washing liquid. Number three, Turn on the power of the dishwasher. <laughs> this is so funny calling this a dishwasher, isn't it? Start washing dishes. That's it. How do you turn it? There's not an on and off. You just plug it in and then it just turns on. It is way modern, you guys. It is a USB connector. For those of you guys that are living off the grid, are living, you know, in a field somewhere. <laughs> no judgment, listen. I'm trying to learn from you. So it is USB powered, but I'm sure you can just plug it into like your iPhone charger or something and just plug it into the wall. So I thought it would be cool to try it with one of these backup batteries, right? The little portable ones that you throw in your purse because you forgot to charge your phone. Let's try it with that. Then if it doesn't work, I'll plug it into the wall, but I thought it would be fun to try it with this because if we're camping or fishing or something in the woods, these are very convenient if you don't have solar screens. The instructions just said this is a bubble generator. I don't think you put this in, don't put anything in the water except the mouse. I think this goes like this, yeah. It didn't say anything about this little suction cup, but I wanna say in the pictures that I saw on the Wish app, it was like that. And then they stuck it on the side of whatever bucket you're using or in the sink, I guess. And don't you think it would be better if it just sat like this at the bottom and then the bubbles would go up? The instructions didn't say either way. They just said, put it in, let it make bubbles and then it would turn on the Very basic, not a lot of instructions. My water is ready. I just have to put soap in it, then 
the dishes. It doesn't say how much soap. I guess it depends on how many dishes you guys have to wash, but I like a lot of bubbles, so I'm gonna put a good amount of soap. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use all the soap that's left in my bottle. Now, in the instructions, it did give a tip to use hot water if you wanna break up like grease and stuff. So this is not hot water, but it's not also not cold water. It's like lukewarm water. Okay, now the dishes. There's one. <laughs> I didn't know how many dishes would fit in here. Here's another one. Here's a real yucky one. That's just salsa verde. <laughs> oh wait, I don't want them to be on top of each other, right? Because I want them to get washed. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just place this like on the side right here, or actually right there, all the way in. How exciting! <laughs> if this works, you guys, we've been missing out here in the US. Unless you've seen this, am I the one that's behind? Or is everybody else behind with me in dishwashing technology? Don't blink, because I'm about to plug this in. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh no, my bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're dead. We're dead off the grid. My battery's dead. God dang it, we're gonna have to plug it into the wall. No! Why aren't you on? I swear to God. I'm concerned, it better not fill right out of the box. Oh my God, I was so excited. I don't ever wanna wash a dish again, you guys. I'm just gonna plug it into this. Hopefully, this thing works immediately because, wish, you're not gonna keep sending me junk and I'm gonna keep ordering from you guys. I need some decent shit to do videos with. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it's working. Look, it's making bubbles. making bubbles how nice that is so cool you guys look my GoPro's in there I know it's super basic you guys but I'm totally impressed I just thought this thing was gonna give me like a little wave in here but it's making a lot of bubbles is this gonna work oh my god I hope it doesn't take 30 minutes though it's vibrating now. It has a good vibration too. We've been going for about 10 minutes now. I don't know how much more time we need, but I've just been staring at the damn bubbles. I'm so impressed so far. If this thing really cleans these dishes, I wanna try a shirt next because it said it will also wash clothes. Multi-purpose. For a cruise, put your dirty clothes in the sink and then wash it with this thing. Genius, right? <laughs> Seriously, 30 minutes later, it's done. And it just shut off, it did nothing else. We will unplug it because the instructions say unplug once it's done. Gloves on, fingers crossed that this thing, 30 minutes later, <laughs> clean some dishes. You're hired. Pop it off the side. Oh, there we go. Close your eyes. <laughs> Ready? Now, they're not rinsed, obviously. We'll have to rinse them under clean water to get the soap off, but as long as there's nothing on them, that's the goal, right? Ready? One, two, three, go. I mean, not squeaky clean, but... <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what I think in a second. Let's get all three of these out of here. Next one. Okay, that one, that one's clean. Good. The last one. Clean. It did wash something. The water is filthy and you can see a lot of floaties in there. So it did clean this first batch of dishes. I don't think that this is actually made for anything more than just what you guys saw here. I don't think this is for like pots and pans. I don't think it's for anything crazy. So I'm just gonna say this is for like some basic ass dishes. Don't get crazy and put some nasty pots and pans in here because it's not gonna work. The next batch, I think I wanna do these two, plus some silverware. I'm gonna use the same soapy water because the whole idea is that we're also uh, wasting less water, right? 
I'm also gonna change the position. I'm actually gonna just lay this guy flat at the bottom of this bucket thing to see if that works any better. Even though the instructions did say put it on the side. But I'm gonna try it all kinds of ways. It's mine. Let's put them in. One, oh shit, let's put this in first because I wanna stick it at the bottom. One, this one, two, and now <laughs> my silverware. Just throwing it all in there, plugging it back in. All right, we'll check back in about 30 minutes. So are you guys ready for the big reveal? Now, it takes a minute. I guess you can't complain about that when it's, <laughs> it just takes forever. I'm thinking for like three dishes, I just do it by hand. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty clean. So here's an honest question. Is the machine really cleaning these or is it just soapy water that they're soaking in for about 30 minutes and that's working just as much as the machine is? So there's the Tupperware. Very clean. I'm gonna say both, right? Leaving anything in soapy water is going to get all the stuff. Wait a second, I mean, it's clean. I mean, look at that. Spoon is clean. Okay, so this one was probably the first one that we saw a little bit of food still on there. So I guess it's still not bad. This fork, clean, yeah, clean. I definitely think it's doing something. I'm not gonna say it's a full, like, trusted, <laughs> trusted dishwasher, but I do think that the vibration and the bubbles that the machine is kind of pushing around in here is helping is assisting. I'm gonna say it's a dishwasher assistant, but I don't think it's actually washing dishes. But if you're in the middle of the damn woods, right? Or it's doomsday, or you're camping, or you're on a cruise, I guess it's gonna work. So I'm gonna go switch out and put some fresh water in here. Let's try it with some clothes. Let's see if it'll work with laundry. We now have clean water. We have laundry detergent. And this black shirt is pretty clean, but I'm gonna put a nice little deodorant line on it. Then we're gonna stick it in there to see if it'll take the deodorant mark off. Do you guys remember this deodorant? Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> but I can still use it for other videos. So before, now the after. So here's the after. Do you see the deodorant mark right there? Now, I do think that it did make a difference where I placed this little guy. I think placing it right in the center at the bottom of the bucket gave me more bubbles and moved around the water more than it did just placing it on the side. So that's where I'm gonna put it again. There at the bottom. Now we'll put in the shirt and I am gonna put it deodorant mark down closest to the bubbles just to help it a little bit. Even though the instructions said this thing will also wash clothes, I'm gonna say it probably is gonna do a better job with the dishes. I don't think it's gonna do much with the clothes because I feel like the clothes needs to be spinning around or something and this is just blowing bubbles on it. I don't have a lot of hopes for this one, but we'll give it a try anyway. So it is now finished. Now this time around, the bubbles only stayed right here in this area. They weren't all over like with the dishes, but that might be just because it's clothes and not dishes. Also, I did put a lot of dishwashing soap in there. So I still, <laughs> I really have no hopes for this one. All right, so the deodorant is definitely off of it. Now I don't wanna take anything away from the machine, but keep in mind that anything that sits in water uh, for 30 minutes with soap in it, it's probably gonna clean some. The machine does help by keeping the water moving, I think is what really what it's doing. So I don't think the little machine is like something you wanna replace your dishwasher with or use it like on a daily basis. If you have a sink and water and soap, I think you just wash it by hand. This is a good assistant, right? Maybe something that you can soak your dishes in before washing them. If they have a lot of food buildup on them, maybe wash your delicates or baby clothes things like that I think it will help I think it does better with dishes and not so much clothes I think this is for like basic like tomato sauce barbecue sauce real simple shit 
last but not least, I do think it's a little overpriced for the quality and what we really saw it do. And it was on the Wish app. So a little overpriced. This thing needs to probably be like 10 bucks or something. So I'm gonna give the Wish vibrating mouse dishwasher one Vivian head. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool Wish product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!